and this is what we got 1.3 mil and you'll simply for uh, stuff like this go for uh, filters remeshing and you can see I mean if you look at these options I'm not gonna show you I just started using this app but uh, there's like tons of options here well, anyway we'll go here and we'll say I don't want 1.3 mil I want uh, say 100,000 polygons and there are different ways to do this um, or different options here uh, I'm just gonna pretty much leave them to default only preserve boundary uh, is gonna make more of an effort to keep hard edges in this area so I'm gonna make that a hundred apply and this should take uh, and this is yet again one of the reasons why I'm doing it in mesh lab uh, it's doing this in light wave would have been quite slow and it wouldn't create that nice topology so uh, so going for mesh lab and we're at 50 percent once again I got a slow computer and only two gigs of RAM available I know <laughs> two gigs um, but at least that shows you that you know you don't need a super computer to do, to do this stuff it's actually possible having only installed four gigs of RAM Okay, I think it finished. Let's look at the wireframe. You can change that wireframe color. And yeah, so uh, it's a super nice algorithm. So instead of doing this I mean could you imagine retopologizing this in 3d code that would have taken a long time so um, very nice and uh, I can now use this for uh, creating uh, and, and apply an, a normal map to it or create a normal map based on the high res I'm going to use another application for that but um, that's that MeshLab